Hey everybody, it is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I have got a garage sale, an estate sale haul for you today. Some of it is jewelry, some of it is some collectibles, because I just couldn't help myself. Okay, um, and if you're wondering where am I, I'm still, this is the apartment, you're just in a different spot, because it was just easier, I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, but still, it's all good. I didn't spend that much money, so that makes it better, right? <laughs> um, so hi, if you're new here, my name is Margaret and I make videos about buying and selling things on eBay and Etsy, also merch by Amazon and things like that and helping people try to make more sales. So <laughs> there's that too. Okay, and I am live. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. So if you're watching this later and you're like, hey man, I want to come hang out with everybody in the chat, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and come on over because right now everybody's over there saying, hey, yay, hey, hey. I got something on my teeth, sorry. Okay, it's just real. And I'm gonna forewarn you, this is a messy haul because I haven't organized anything yet. Because normally I lay it all out and I figure it all out and then right now it's still like in bags. So it's gonna be a pour and figure it out kind of haul. So does the stuff I stress, honestly a few things, does the stuff you stress does the stuff you accumulate stress you out? I have a love-hate relationship. It does and did more so when I collect. I was picking up everything. But hang on, like when I was picking up everything, like bigs. But as I started picking up more jewelry, not really. I mean, I have quite a bit of unlisted jewelry, but it doesn't. It doesn't for whatever reason. It doesn't stress me out. Every now and then. Every now and then it'll stress me out, but most of the most of the time, because I know even if I'm like I can't take it anymore, then I can just make a big giant lot of jewelry and it'll be gone like that, you know. But with some of the bigger stuff, that's kind of why I got you know I got rid of a lot a lot of stuff. So I got to go out this morning by myself and hit some estate sales, and there were a lot. Okay, here's another thing I'm noticing because I'm new to Austin. You know, this is our apartment which is soul crushing but whatever um i'm finding a lot more vintage stuff which is going to make it really hard for me to like pair back on buying things that aren't jewelry or smalls because i mean i found this samsonite makeup case and it's just awesome so it says owl on it right anyway so i got this i'll start with it how about that since we're already here I got this Samsonite makeup case, which if I don't keep it, I'm going to sell it on Etsy, eBay. Um, and it, it'll go, because uh, it just needs a little cleanup, but it can go anywhere, you know, 25, 35 bucks. I'm trying to close it. Okay, go there. So I bought that and then a bunch of other stuff from this garage sale for $7. So that was amongst the $7, right? Rebecca says, I'm trying to get into jewelry, but having a hard time sourcing my air. Oh, no. Um, oh, okay. Debbie says, I use this to store my jewelry for sale. And you know what? That would be a good idea, too. Like, if I start doing more lots, that could be, like, a good prop. Because I've been trying to collect a few things to use as, like, props for jewelry hauls. But let me show you some of the other things. The kids, the kids have kind of made off with some of the other stuff that I got because it was $7. And I got a couple pop figures and some other things for the guys. Um, but amongst the $7, there's Leia. You don't get to see Leia too often. There's Leia. Um, got this, which is like a camping type of thing. It's a to-go wear. And we do a lot of stuff like this. So some of the stuff I got that are big um, are things that we're probably going to keep. So like this, you know, for when we go camping or like bike riding, we want to take stuff and not have it fall all over the place. Um, oh no. Okay, so also within the seven bucks, my kids are super duper into Adventure Time. So there was this Finn hat, if you know what Adventure Time is. There were also some little mini Funko Pop Adventure Time guys, the kids have already taken them, that were in here. Then also within the seven dollars was this Hufflepuff robe. Okay, you know I'm a Harry Potter nerd. I am if you're not and you don't get it and you want to make fun because I'm grown up and I say what house I'm in, fine, whatever. I'm not a Hufflepuff. I'm a Ravenclaw. But that's okay. I had to get it anyway because it was $7 for all the stuff. Um, and my kids haven't been sorted yet, so one of them may be a Hufflepuff. You just have to think about your future. 
right? What about the children's future? Are they going to be? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, and then I got this little hat. Isn't it cute? So we went to a steampunk festival recently. Oh, it kind of goes in my dress. Um, and so my one of my guys is really into steampunk, and the other one is kind of into steampunk. And so I'm like, oh, well, if I have to call, cart you around to like some of these Comic Cons and steampunk fests, mommy might need a, a fancy hat to wear. So another another fancy hat. So it's pretty cute, I thought. Okay, so that was in the seven bucks too. Oh, I just ripped out my barrette. So that's cool. Um, hang on. Now we gotta fix the hair. Here, there. We'll just leave it out. So then also, seven bucks. This was something that I told the kids they couldn't grab from me. I want it. Okay, ready? Look it, look it. What do you think's inside? It's a teeny tiny. What do you think that is? Is that that's a mandolin, isn't it? Look at it. It's adorable. And like it you can tune it like the little screws screw. I mean they don't screw, but they like they turn. <laughs> anyway, ta -da! I can't I mean you can't really. But isn't it so cute? I have no idea what I was gonna do with it, but I just couldn't leave it there because it was so cute. Ta da! Yeah. It might end up in my shadow box because <laughs> it's so cute. And when somebody's being sassy to me, I can pull out the world's smallest violin and play it for them. Okay. <laughs> or for myself when I'm feeling sorry for myself. That'll probably be, probably be more likely. I'll pull it out and play it for myself. Okay, so still, that was all, this is all still within the seven bucks. Plus, I got, what's that other Funko Pop? I thought I grabbed it. I grabbed my husband this Funko Pop that was like, what is that thing called? The Chalut? I'm going to say it wrong. It's not Chalula. Chalula. The thing that's got all the tentacles coming out of his face. But does he have wings? Because this thing had wings. Where did I put it? Oh, it's still over there. Let me, no, this way over there. All right, so it, it's a Funko Pop with that. So still within the seven, oh, oh, oh. seven bucks at this last, this was the last garage that I went to, too. I got some jewelry, of course. Of course I did. I got some crab earrings. Here we go. Little black crabs. And then there's some little red crabs. <laughs> oh, that would have been cute, Jill. I thought it was going to be a guitar-shaped harmonica. Little red crabs. Those are cute. And then a... Somebody liked crabs, apparently. <laughs> a crab brooch. I like selling figural jewelry. You know, like I like picking that up. And then a necklace with a chalice of some sort on it, but I don't know what it goes to. This is not the Goblet of Fire. And I don't see any kind of marks on it, but I just thought it was cool. Geeky cool funness. So there's that. Ta-da. So that, there were a few other things that came in the seven bucks, but the kids had already, there was like those little, you know, they're like little wands, but they're filled inside with like glitter and stuff. And you like tilt them and the glittery stuff falls down. So there was two of those, some little mini Funko Pops that were Adventure Time, Flashlight, a Boy Scout of America, like Whetstone in case. Um, what else was in there? Arr, there was some other stuff. But it was a ton of stuff. And originally, I was sure it was going to be more because the Finn hat had eight bucks on it. And so I was like, okay, well, let's see how much it's going to be. You know, plus the Samsonite case. And then she was like, how about seven for everything? I was like, let me see if you got more stuff I need. <laughs> but no, she didn't. Okay, Pancake, you can have that bag. Pancake is getting in the bag. Okay, then I went to another garage sale. How much did I spend there? $22. 10 of the dollars things is in the car still because it's like a metal case. I'm gonna the guy was a what he, he said he was a tinkerer. So he bought this like metal cabinet at IKEA, but I would not have known it was from IKEA because when I for I, he's all his stuff is like vintage stuff. And so it looked like this vintage metal cabinet that he he had refinished it and he put these like um what do they call like rivets? He put these rivets in it and then like these, uh, anyway, I have to get a picture and show you. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll pop a picture up there. Anyway, a metal, a metal cabinet that you can hang on the wall. And so I got it for our new house to put on the back patio 
because it closes up. That way we can like put the bug spray and the wasp spray and all all that in there and it'll be closed up and it won't just be out for the kids to grab. I think that's gonna be cool. Okay, so that was 10 of the dollars and then five of the dollars. He even made really fancy signs. So here's the sign for this. 50s and 70s metal letter set, $5 for the lot. And it's a tin full of these like metal letters. Aren't they awesome? I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them all. Um, some of them have little dents in them, but I'm hoping there's enough to spell out Texas gal. Wouldn't that be cool? Cause then I could put Texas gal on my workroom door or something nerdy like that. I don't know, make a sign. Texas gal's room, stay out. <laughs> um, so yeah. You know, they're just fun little, I don't know, five bucks for the set. And I can always sell them if I decide that was really a bad idea. But aren't they fun, right? I just don't see stuff like that. He had some ceramic letters too, but I just couldn't see what I would use them for. Okay, that can go over there. I also, I got a broken clock from him for two bucks. And then I got some cufflinks from him too, I'll show you. But the, yeah, the broken clock I already gave to James because he's been tinkering with stuff. And so um, that way he could mess around with it. And Well, Pancake and Leia are gonna have a fight over here, apparently. They both want the bag. Let's see if I can find the cufflinks since we're staying on this. The guy that was hosting this garage sale, he had style. <laughs> because even for a garage sale, like he had fancy, he, he didn't put like sticky tags. He had like fancy tags for his stuff. So like that sign that he made and then uh, like all the signs were like that. They were like, really, he'd spent time. It's like, I mean, he's like one of those guys, like if you're going to do it, do it right and do it with style. <laughs> so anyway, I paid two bucks for these cufflinks from him. And these are some Towncraft cufflinks and tie, tie bar. Um, so I, again, I didn't look any of this up because it, I, at times of the essence, the kids are out of the house. So I have to do this all video so I can, guesstimate, you know? So I'm guessing I'll probably put about $30, maybe more, depending on what I find about, about this and the style. But they're really cool, you know. There's those. And then I also got these cufflinks from him. So he, that's the tag he put. Gold, asymmetric cufflinks and tie tag, $3. So let's see, whoa, okay. There's these ones, cool. And the tie bar looks like that, right? Really atomic. So that would probably be one of the keywords I used. 50s, 60s, atomic style. And it says it's a Towncraft box too, so they may, be, they may also be Towncraft. So anyway, when I saw the tags, because they were down like this, I thought, oh gosh, he's going to have like expensive prices. And I flipped it over. Oh, okay, three bucks. Cool. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today. And, and thank you guys so much because I know I've been kind of like a little roller coaster lately and everybody's been really, really kind um, about everything. And, and then I twisted my ankle yesterday. I don't know if you caught that, but yeah. So it's better, it still kind of hurts, but <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me from getting out. Okay, so <laughs> next garage sale I hit I picked up a couple board games for the kids, you know, and a few other little doodads like bubbles and stuff. But then I got this ring for $3, and I'm pretty sure there was a sticker on it. But I, I'm almost positive it's silver, so let me pull the sticky off. I'm looking, and of course I don't have my magnet. So, because it has gone away somewhere. I can't see, my eyes are, oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a mark, 925 in there, I don't have my magnet. I'll put it on my computer because there's a magnet over here. Nope, not sticky. Okay, here's the thing too, three bucks for that. I have not a bone to pick, but I have a bit of a frustrational point. Okay, this and this doesn't happen for me too much. I have a jewelry group and if this makes some people mad, I'm gonna apologize in advance. It's all in the name of education. Okay, so. I use a magnet to help me when I'm at garage sales, state sales, or when I'm trying to determine if something is gold or silver. I am well aware that a magnet will not stick to stainless steel and a magnet will not stick to bra, you know, other stuff. I get that. Okay. But it is a quick way to find out 
if something is silver or gold just on the fly, right? And when I take something to my gold guy, if it attracts to the magnet, he's not going to test it, you know, or he, you got to push him to test it, you know? So we've had some people, and this is the thing. I don't mind discussions and things like that, but if you are going to tell people that is a, that is not a, a way to do it, then give another, okay, fine. You know, give another example of what to do. Right. So, you know, and, and so I pointed this out, you know, a couple times in the group because it, it's come up again. I'm like, okay, I appreciate, you know, that there are people that know more and can spot stuff like this, but the majority of people like us don't, you know, or haven't learned that far yet or are not professional silversmiths and can spot, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just the, the reality of it is that not everybody is. And so we got to work with what we know. Um, so, and yes, I understand that, that things that are not silver and gold can still be valuable. I mean, look at me, I will pick up whatever. I don't care because it's awesome. It'll sell. Um, but my, the sticking point for me is when people say that this kind of stuff, I'm like, well, I'm so glad that you know how to do this. Present something to the group. Make, don't just go in and tell people this is the wrong way to do it. That's a bad way to do it. That's a, you know, that's not a, hello, apartment living. You know, don't go in and just say that's not the right way or that's not the best way or that's the blah, whatever. And so this happened and I was like, okay, I get that. And I appreciate the knowledge that this person, or it's happened many times, so not just one person. I appreciate the knowledge, but I have asked, okay, present something to the group, educational then. If this isn't the best way, en enlighten us, share, educate us, share with us what is another way we could use that when we're out at, at a garage sale or an estate sale or a thrift store where we're on the fly, you know, you can't sit there and pull out your testing kit, you know, and people are, you know, some people say, well, I can just tell when I look at it. I'm like, well, great, I can't. Show me, show us. Um, so that's my, on my soapbox. I'm like, don't go in telling people, and sorry, some people may end up leaving my jewelry group for this. And I, and again, I have no problem not knowing everything because I know I don't know everything, but don't come telling people that we're doing it wrong or it's a bad way to do it and leaving it there. Like, look, okay, I'm going to drop this bomb on you and walk away. Fine. Tell me how to make it better. Tell me how to teach people you know, to make it better so, so that we know too. I'm so glad you know. Now share with us so we can know. Um, but guess what? They never do. It's not running. They never do. So honestly, I'm just like, I just want to remove people for doing that. I mean, it's, it's not that I don't want people to, it's not a disagreement thing. And I know some people like to present it that way. It's not that somebody's disagreeing with me. It's that fine. Share, share then. <laughs> we want to know too. It hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. Whatever. Okay, that was my soapbox. Let me go check in the chat because I just, I needed to get that off my chest. <laughs> I do. Um, let's see. And I do have quite a bit more stuff, so sorry. I just kind of went off there for a minute. Um, hey, everybody. Yes, I'm seeing you guys in the chat. Thank you for coming. Um, Oh, yeah. How did I twist my ankle? I was walking while being Margaret. <laughs> I don't know. I just, my, I think the shoes I was wearing, my foot kind of slides around in them. And I just think my foot slipped and went right off the edge of, you know, they're like these flip flops, they're fit flops, you know, just slipped and like, whoop, went down. So, and I went down and my foot got scratched, scraped up, whatever. <laughs> it's a mere flesh wound. Yeah, I, um, I, you know, I iced it and did all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah okay goodness gracious they like a trampoline up there or something um i always take stuff to a guy who has an xrf gun to scan precious metals it tells you on a digital display how much gold it has copper silver Ooh, i want one of those oh my gosh i want one i'm gonna look that up lord ahab oh yeah 
Yeah, I agree. Flip and hustler. Don't mm. don't tell me. Show me, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um. Yeah, we're here to make each other better, more informed resellers. And I made that point. I was like, you know, most of us are not going to go to silversmithing classes or metalsmithing classes or become professional jewelers. The majority of us are resellers who like jewelry or jewelry enthusiasts, you know, and want just to <laughs> find treasures. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Do, do, do. Shoo, shoo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that ring was three bucks. Let's get back to the hall. I'm off my high horse now. Not my high horse. My, my soapbox. They're on their high horse up there though. Um, Okay, so I got two fossil watches at this garage sale. They, the lady's like, they just need batteries. So it's, they're in really good shape. So, and I paid five bucks each for these. Okay, how much are they? Oh my gosh, $16,000, jump change. <laughs> okay, so there's these two fossil watches that I need to get batteries for. And then also, I wasn't sure what this, I just liked this little symbol, what does it say? Is it a church thing? Is it a cross thing? I can't tell. Anyway, two bucks on that. I just thought it was cool. Uh, X-ray field analyzer. Oh, I think it's cool. Okay, then I got it. These are just little cheapy enamel, but I thought the kids would like playing with them. It was a dollar, and this has got a little kitty cat. And then this one has a little, like, white-looking Scotty dog. Looks like a Scotty dog or a schnauzer, something. I still think they would sell because there are people that love their schnauzer. I'm guessing it's a schnauzer. I don't see too many white Scotty dogs. Do you see white Scotty dogs? Anyway, maybe it's a schnauzer. So somebody who had a white schnauzer would probably enjoy that. So anyway, okay. Next up. I hope I didn't piss too many people off. It doesn't happen very often though. So, hey, why not? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Antoinette. I agree. So I'm going to still say... I like to use my magnet until somebody wants to say a better way, which they never still have other than just your mom. Okay, cool. Okay, then, yeah. All right, so, oh, I got this too at one of the garage sales. Danger, danger. It's a scraper with a razor blade because they always come in handy. And I always pick up little pen knives and knives like this. I'm just, they're handy to have, you know. You, I just always do. It's like scissors. I always pick up nice scissors when I'm out. Um, oh, wow, well, this is a tangled mess. And this is from a couple different garage sales. So let's see. One of the sales I spent, one of them was 8 bucks, And one of them was... 350. So this will be like what I show you next. We'll just call it like $10. <laughs> Listen to them up there. I swear they're not usually this loud. So anyway, I don't know what's going on up there. They're having a <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the apartment. Can y'all hear it? Or is it just me? Y'all can hear that, right? Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. Got some Napier screw back clip-ons. I will take them off this nasty looking card before I try to list them, because that's pretty gross. Um, I got these bars ones that are pretty cute. They've got this kind of tortoise shell. These are pierced ones. Um, trying to see, they got, you know how I love tangles? Well, I got tangles. Um, so a bunch of this stuff from this one particular garage sale I, I spent, I had, it was eight bucks. So all of this I'll show you, let's just say 10, 10 50. You can't hear it? Okay, good. Could they be cleaning? I think it must be a kid running around, yeah. Um, so there's a ring, it's just a funky cool ring with a chevron pattern. We'll just pretend like it's not happening. <laughs> um, a really cute pearly bracelet. No maker's mark or anything that I could see anyway. And here's the thing too, with some of it being so cheap, like some of these were like 25 cents. I was like, you know what? Even if I pick it all up and put it into a lot, I'll make my money back. You know, at a quarter, I can totally pick up 
this type of stuff, throw it into a, a jewelry lot, you know, for 20 bucks or whatever and make my money back, no problem. So, I need to take mine off the cards. I think they'll sell faster. Yeah, maybe. Depending on what the card, some of them might be okay, but like this is pretty gross. I'll probably take these off the card too. Just, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it gets tooled up with blades. Yeah, I need them. I need them. We keep having a run in, y'all, because we. I just quit telling you. <laughs> we were. At, we had another one the other day. We were at. We were. I said, "Well, boys, want to go to Waterburger?" So we went to Waterburger. And this guy came, like, as I was leaving, we were walking out the glass door. This guy came out of the side of the, from the side of the building, not inside, from the side of the building. And I saw him in my peripheral vision. And I was like, well, I thought he was just turning to go into the, into the inside. Well, we get in the car. I get the car shut and locked. And I looked up. And there he is standing in my window. Like, what the, what are you doing? Hey, he rolled down the window. Hey, go ask your question. One. Do not approach a woman in a parking lot with her children unless you want to get massacred. What is the matter? I mean, I just, and, and, and I don't know if it's Austin living or if it, they didn't, I mean, we had a lot of homeless in Houston. They didn't do that. You know, I don't know if it's that in Houston, more people carry guns than in Austin. I don't know if that's true or they just don't care. But I'm like, no, I'm not rolling my window down. Crazy. He might have been. So. No, <laughs> we keep having issues, so we'll be, yeah, anyway. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't go up to a lady in a parking lot, period. It's not safe for you or for her, because I get really defensive. And then there's a good, good thing. If I had turned around, my reflexes may have gone off. <laughs> can still carry. Yeah, I know, right? Um, maybe. You know, we have open carry in Texas, so I could be open carry. Yeah. And it was so quick. Like, I really thought I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Two people are killed by homeless in restaurants here in South Carolina. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So this is another one. This was in that, you know, $10 for all this stuff. So it was about a quarter for that. Um, here's another one. It was kind of tangled up. So it's this chain and a little pearly drop. Again, I just figured, well, some of these are cute enough that even if I, you know, at a quarter a piece, could put into a lot and make my money back. So no biggie. No biggie. Here's another one kind of like that other one. This one has moon and stars. The other one had little sunflowers. Some of these I'd probably try to sell by themselves. I keep going off topic, off the hall. Hope you guys don't mind. Things come up. and Okay, this is, this is a necklace somehow. Trust me. Okay, we'll just put that right there. <laughs> and buy knives and I can. Um, and then this one, this one I'll probably try to sell it by itself because it's got these pink stone beads and then a puffy heart like so. There. Um, I don't think it's actually copper. I think it's, no, 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 I don't think it's copper at all. Unless it's coated. It's kind of got that brass color. Um, but I don't have the gift of knowing the metal, you know, some of them I can tell, but okay. Then, the, oh, these were 50 cents. So. <laughs> I don't know. They ended up being less, but they're, they're not exactly the same, but they're earrings. One is longer than the other. Ah, it came apart. Hang on. Yeah, they were going to count it all out. And I was like, how about eight bucks for all of it? And she said, okay, so. Hi, and then we've got these ones. These are kind of, they might need a clean up. That'd be kind of cute on there. Car. Okay. Um, do you ever not buy anything because you can't think of some keywords or for it in the titles? No, I don't think so. Um, Cause I know there's enough people in the groups that'll help. That are, we have very helpful groups. If you haven't yet, where's the bait for this? Cause I'm one of these. Uh oh. Did I grab an earring with no mate? Or maybe I thought they were together. Maybe it spilled out. Darn it. Maybe I thought these were two. Because I was like, those would look smoking. <laughs> Santa do. Now we are here. in Santa do. Right? They reminded me of Santa do for some reason. Okay. Maybe the other one will turn up. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. I'm going to set it to the side. Because I could have sworn I made sure they were both there. Um, 
Okay, we are told, yeah, yeah, no. And that's what I told the kids, like, because James was like, well, have you ever given money to the guys on the side of the road? Because sometimes they do, there's a lot along the side of the roads. And the guys here seem to be more aggressive or assertive than in Houston. I don't know why that is, you know, but like standing in the, while you're parked at the light, waiting for the light to change, like holding the sign up and like doing like this in the window at the past, you know, while you're driving or waiting, whatever. And James is like, why do they, why do they do that? Why? I don't know. I'm like, so I'm not gonna put the window down. You know, I said, that's the thing. You never know with somebody how stable they are. The second you put that window down, suddenly they're not not smiley, happy, nice guy, you know, flashing a funny sign. Um, they've got a knife to your throat. I don't know. You don't know. So anyway, you just be on your guard. Anyway, <laughs> next ring is this one and this, yeah, this was in the same hall. So this is a stretchy ring. And I just thought it was really cute. It looked like it was trying to be like a petite point or like a, um, you know, like porcelain painted, but it's not. It's just, it's got that vintage look to it. And then some more screw back earrings, which I need to, I need to check them over for marks because they look really nice quality. You know, they're scallop edged. I don't know if you can see that scallop edged and then there's screw back and I don't see like off the I don't see a mark like straight away but it may be smell the metal um yeah <laughs> they seem to be more aggressive in liberal towns oh maybe that may be because it is I mean it's more liberal here you know okay then also within the same like 10 bucks Oh, there's this butterfly necklace, just kind of a statement necklace. Yeah, when I'm with my kids, I'm on total high alert. I'm not. Mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Okay, then here's another one. It's tangled up, but it's another necklace. It's got these really pretty crystals and stuff. I don't know. I think they're plastic, though. Yeah, but still pretty, pretty, pretty. Still have more. Um, what's a liberal town? I'm guessing more democratic leaning. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not going to talk politics though. I am not. I made a mis. Well, I don't think it was a mistake, but I shared something on the of a political nature on my Facebook page, and my two brothers are a polar opposites. One of my brothers is extremely right, and one of my brothers is extremely left. And it's like, I don't want to have to turn off commenting because my brothers are going at it. Whatever. Just let them at it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway. So still going with the $10. <laughs> Here we go. Look at these, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe laws are not as strict. But possibly, possibly. Okay, so look at these ones. Aren't they pretty? So... Yeah, so this is still in that same. Yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, we found a lot. I mean, we're I'm doing okay. So okay, still ten. This is still in the ten bucks. Another ring. Yeah, I know it's like it's just a fun statement ring. But again, even if I end up putting them into a lot, I'm like there will be nice little eye catchers. Look at that ring. So this is one that I'll try to sell by itself. It's adjustable. See. But I still think that it's awesome enough to sell by itself because it's got flowers, it's got dragonflies, it's got these blingy stones. So even though it is an adjustable ring, I will still try to sell. I mean, probably at least $15, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes, thanks. Hit the like button. Okay, still, still within that amount. I got these for my sister. She started making, so this is some of the Millefiori. Isn't that pretty? Um, and then that's not, oh, I went through and learned all the different kinds of names of the beads, the glass beads, and now I can't keep them all in my head. So see, this is another, like, you can see how the Millefiori is, like, in there. Unless that's another method, but that's what it looks like. So that's just like a Murano kind of glass bead. That's that Millefiori ones. 
Uh, anyway, so I don't know. I can't decide. I'll probably give it to my sister, but she, she's been making sun catchers. And I, I shared a little video of one that she made, and I posted another somewhere, I think, on my YouTube community. But she wants to make some for me to do giveaways for. So, yeah. Um, where are these types listed? Okay. Uh, types of beads, you mean? I did a video where I was, and maybe I should do just a separate one for glass beads, but I did one where it was just like, jewelry terms you need to know. And a number of them ended up being names of glass beads. So maybe I should just do a separate video with the names of glass beads, <laughs> right? Okay, and then we're still in that same $10.50 or whatever it was, another glass, like an art glass. Uh, this is that, um, it's trying to look like the dichroic glass because it's kind of put together like a dichroic glass. I don't know, the back might be just foiled, you know. Oh, foiled again. But then this is just painted on there, you know. So you can see it's layered, but it's I don't think it's a true dichroic glass. Um, um on my not YouTube community site, but on my um on my main page on YouTube, there's like a community tab, and sometimes I'll post just like a picture or a poll or something, and it'll come up in your feed if you go if you scroll through your feed. And then I got some barrettes. I'm going to sanitize these. These are for me. <laughs> okay, so still one more thing in that 1050. Got a lot of stuff. I got a Tommy Hilfiger bangle cuff. It's not a bangle exactly. It's a cuff. But it's this kind of green enameled with rhinestones or crystals in there. So, yeah. I thought that was a good deal. It's really pretty. That green's really pretty. So, Tommy Hilfiger right there. Okay. So that was all that 10, 1050 around that range. Um, then, well, I show you, I can show you these. I always pick these up, these containers. So that was I got three of them. Well, two of them exactly like that, and then one of them has a handle. Those were all a dollar each. So I like to use these to sort jewelry in, mostly jewelry that I haven't listed yet. But as I continue. Oh, this has got a top and a bottom. Yay! Okay. Um, yeah, I like to sort it out when I'm listing. My hands feel gross now. Okay, I've got one more bag of, of stuff for you. Let me dump it. I'm dumping it. Um, so I paid up on this one. I paid $15 for everything in this one. So this was the most expensive. But it was like a bunch of cufflinks and tie, tie bars. So let's see what we've got. I didn't really even poke through it too much. So we've got this kind of tie bar. It's a bit long, so that's cool. Uh, this one that has a knot. And check them, because sometimes you'll find that there's gold or silver. I don't think any of these really are, though. Um, this one, there's some cufflinks in here to match. I can find the mates. Let's see. Hang on. Where is it? Um, oh, thanks. Ankle's doing OK. It's a little tender, so. There's those cufflinks to go with that tie bar. Then some more knots. Cufflinks. And I, hang on, is that? Oh, it was just a reflection. Okay, good. Um, if they're just kind of plain, then they go, you know, 10, 15 bucks. But then the more intricate and cool they are, I'm trying to see what the name of, on this one is. I can't see it. Why? I think this is Kermit's in there. I can't tell. So those ones, probably closer to the 15, 17. And, the, and, you know, with a lot of cufflinks, it's just kind of a matter of wait and see, wait for the right buyer. These ones have the inlay. They kind of have a shield or a crest look. Oh, look, there's another one of those. And then these, if I can get them out of the box. These ones are nice. Okay, so I'll probably put these up for a little bit more. So these are like cobalt blue square like pyramid sort of shaped so those will go up for a teeny bit more probably i'll have to do a bit more research and then i don't know if i showed you those, those. okay so i mean i think not too bad maybe a buck or so on each thing buck or buck 50. so not bad for those uh, i'll make my money back for sure for sure i'm gonna have to get busy <laughs> when i move
<laughs> I got a lot to list. Okay, and then this stuff I got, oh dear, how much did I spend? I mean, I always feel kind of bad when I, I went to this garage sale and the girl was like, a lot of this is my grandma's and I just, I don't wear it and it just sits around and I don't know what it is and I don't know what it's worth. Part of me is like, yay, but part of me kind of feels bad, you know? I don't know. So I, how much did I spend? Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it was twenty three dollars. You know, we'll just go with that because it was probably around that. Okay, so let me separate some things out. So I got brooches and earrings and things like this. So this is a listener brooch. Listener is a costume jewelry brand. So listener brooch, and then I got another brooch. There are people that collect like um, bow shaped brooches, you know. There are, and so this is not exactly a bow, but kind of. Um, but there are people that collect that. And I'm looking for a mark on this. I'm surprised I don't see one. Okay, well, I'll have to look a little closer later. This one has got this really pretty enamel flower. And there's some little pearls. If I can pull them out, I'll show you. There's this necklace, and then there's a little bracelet in here to match. There are these little tiny, like, seed pearl, like so. And the clasp. I'm looking to see if I see any marks, because a lot of times real ones will have, um, you know, a gold clasp on it. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think they're mm. If you have ever felt pearls on your teeth, for me, <laughs> it feels like sand, I mean, like fingers on a chalkboard. Like it gives me the heebie-jeebies when I do it. <laughs> okay, so this is another brooch that I got. My, it has a mark on it, so I have to look a little closer. Let me see. Are those stones gone or are they just that kind of color? I think they're just that color. Yeah, they are. Okay, Um, there is a mark. I can't read it, so I'm going to hold it up. Can you read it? I can't read it either. Okay, we're in the same boat, so I don't feel so bad. You can't read it either. Not just me. Um, here's another brooch. This one's really pretty. It kind of has the same kind of pearl. A little bigger, though. And again, it is marked as well. Yes, thank you. Hit the thumbs up. I can't read it. And I, as I said, I'm moving, so I don't know where my loop is or anything. Oh, my gosh. I have these earrings here. And my friend AJ is really into orchids, but I'm not giving them to her because <laughs> I'm a horrible friend. No. Um, look at these orchid earrings. I'm going to sell these. Now, it looks like, wait, there's a stone down there, isn't there? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So these are some screw back orchid earrings. Aren't they cool? Ooh, AJ would love those. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'll ask her. Fine, you talked me into it. All right, I'll ask AJ if she wants them. <laughs> I usually give her most of my orchid stuff that I find. So, hello. Oh, you've been out late to a party, Neville. Woohoo! party, party. All right, next up is another brooch. And again, if it's, I don't know, I just sort of wanted to buy up most of what she had. There are a few things I didn't get. But here's another. This one was unusual, I thought. So it's a brooch, but it almost looks like like an embroidery that my mom would make with her embroidery machine, you know, out of the threads and stuff. But it's not. It's metal. <laughs> so there's that. Let's see, Ruby says, I want to sell some jewelry. Should I include the shipping as the starting auction or do it separately? I do it separately, personally. That's just my, what I do, though. I don't know, some people roll it into the price. Okay, then there's this brooch, which is really cute. It's a bow and arrow with a little heart on it. The heart looks like it needs to be cleaned or it's got a scratch, one or the other. Let me see if it'll come off. I can't tell right now. So super cute. Oh, that's my finger. There. And hang on. I got little tingles happening over here. 
another bangle. I like to pick up bangles. So all of this, again, 23 in this part, in this section over the hall. And then this one is trying to look like a vintage petite point. So it's actually not. It's just like a painted on there, you know, or a decal or something. I don't know. But if you know what petite point is, it looks like a little tiny, teeny tiny embroidery. So it's trying to look like that, but it's not really. It's a pretend one. But I got it anyway. That's okay. Okay, then, see, so here's the bracelet for that. This is the bracelet that matches that necklace. So really dainty and pretty and feminine. I like it. Oh, kind of looks like a Kirk's Folly piece. I'll have to look it up. I will check closer. I don't see any marks on the back, but it looks well made. So, I mean, you can see like on the back, you know, where they have this part wrapped in the front. Well, it goes all the way around to the back. Sometimes it's like cheaper pieces. They don't, you know, don't take it all the way around. Uh, and then a big flower brooch. Lots of brooches here. We got some Christmassy ones coming up. If you like Christmas brooches, <laughs> some of them are really blingy. Here goes. Ready? This one is, oh, Danecraft, I think is what that says. Look at that. Super cool. And I think that says Danecraft. Does it? Can you read it? I don't know. Is that a G? No, that says Danecraft. Okay, that's an F. Yeah, Danecraft. Okay, and then we've got a rose, like so. And this, I mean, most of the things that I would sell, depending on the what I look up, when I look it up, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you. Um, do you know what? Oh, yeah, I know Weiss. If it's, if it's a good enough price, I would get it, yeah. And then here's another one, little brooch. Tell me what you think, you guys. <laughs> what did I do? So, again, this stuff was 23. I've got these that look like cloisonne, but I don't think they're really cloisonne. I think it's another type of style. These birds, I think they're so, they're big and fun. Lingy birds. Um, another Christmassy one. Yeah, Danecraft is good. Christmas one. Another Christmas one. And that's got a maker. I have to see what it is. I know I had another Christmas one in here. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a little one like so. And then this is like a ceramic one, a ceramic flower. And again, I didn't, I was in a hurry, so I didn't get a chance to look a lot of this stuff up. But I was just like, I'm coming to show you anyway. So there. Okay, so more like cloisonne style with the daffodils. And again, this is also the 23. We've got this cross. I don't think it's silver at all. I don't. Um, some little earrings. These are some screw back clip-ons. Does this Christmas stocking have a maker's mark? I, I don't see one on here. I'll hold it up. See if you see it. I don't see a maker's mark. Okay. And then this one, this one's really pretty. I like that a lot. So there's another Christmas tree. This one is marked and it's so tiny. I mean, I know I could get my phone and take a picture of it. Can you see the mark? I'm trying to read it through the camera, but I can't. Okay. I don't know. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Thanks, Mary. This is when I get to talk to grown-ups, I think. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, just four months until Christmas. Is that right? July. No, that's not right. July, August. It's still six months. <laughs> oh, just four months until Christmas starts. Selling sells starts. Okay, I get it. I misread what you said. I get it. I get it. Yeah, Christmas. I sold a Christmas shirt on merch just last week. Okay, so here's some more earrings. These are kind of cute. These are some screw back earrings as well. There. Um, but I'm, but I'm, I don't see any maker's mark. Which, some of them it surprises me because they look like they're nice quality. So when I don't see 
Maker's Mark, I always wonder. Okay, and then this one looks like one of those um, kind of mother pins where you would get the birthstones of your children or grandchildren put in there. And then there's some bells. Bells. Now, the three part, because I told you it was like $23. The $3 part was this necklace and earrings, which are in the sticky cotton. So this is the necklace, and it's all like big and floral and blue and stuff. And then these are the earrings right here. It's stuck in there like a spider web. It's in there. So annoying. There. Ha ha. So those are the earrings. Um, wow. Julie says, I sold a wool blanket in May for 270 bucks. No, oh, wow. Um, yeah, for sure. Halloween. So there's that. That was the three of the 23 bucks. Those are the earrings I was thinking about giving to AJ, maybe. Maybe. Um, so, is that it? There was another, oh, I didn't show you this earring. Hang on. Here. Like that. Okay. So, that is pretty much it. I didn't, I mean, I went out today and I took, I don't know, I took maybe 150 bucks out with me and I came home, I mean, I definitely came home with 70 something dollars. So I, I mean, I spent some, but not anywhere near what I thought I was going to spend. So it's good. Um, lots of jewelry, lots of fun stuff to learn about and look up. Hands need washing. Um, let me know how garage sales are going for you guys, or if you garage sell. Let me know your take on the whole magnet thing. I guess it doesn't matter. Tell me if you want, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let me know, and yeah, go down there. Also, let me know if you if you sell on Etsy. How are you liking the SEO? You know, I've been putting out the um, Etsy SEO help for the new changes in 2018. So I have one more. I'm probably going to do two more. I have one that's already recorded, and I have one more that I'm like, oh, I forgot to tell you something, you know. So maybe you could list today and stay off that ankle. I could, but I'm not. Because <laughs> here's the thing. I, I'm i going to go through and, like, inventory everything. So that may be what I do when I clean up here. Gosh, I keep pushing this table. Um, is do an inventory, make sure I have everything that I have listed, and then make sure that, like, all the – that I have, you know, that I'm practicing what I preach, that my, that I've got a picture of the measurements, that I've got, you know, my SEO stuff all keyworded right, that I've got my shop sections squared away, my titles look good. Um, and I'm gonna be talking, also, if you're in the jewelry, in my jewelry group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, you know Carlos and his awesome hauls, and he and I are gonna talk next week. And I was thinking about doing it pre-recorded, because I don't know that, He's been on live YouTube, or if that would be nervous, I guess I should ask him. But tell me what you guys think. Should I go, just like go for it live, or just pre-record it? I'll ask him too. Like what does he feel more comfortable with? But I'm looking forward to that, talking to him, because he gets amazing hauls. And his shop, what made me think of it is because I went to look at his eBay shop, and his titles are on point, his pictures are on point, you know, his descriptions, it's just like, the model of this is how you do it, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So if you and if you're in the group, go check out his shop because he, you know, in our shop, we have a list of our shops you could add, you know, whatever. <sighs> okay. I will um, talk to you guys later, and yeah, have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>